I wonder how many shiny pebbles I can find today. Yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> can you see any shiny pebbles? Uh, oh, there's one. <laughs> oh, there's another one. <laughs> oh, and another one. <laughs> <laughs> right, now, how many pebbles have I got now? Uh, one, two... Hey, uh, Timbo! Uh, rocket! Timbo! Rocket! Timbo! Oh. <laughs> what have you got there? Oh, some shiny pebbles. Um, I was counting them, but... I've forgotten where I got you now. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I'll count them for you. Oh. One... Mm -hmm. uh, two. Uh, um, uh, what comes after two? Three. Oh. <laughs> I've got three pebbles. <laughs> oh, three. I knew that. Of course I knew that. Three comes after two. <laughs> I am the counting frog. <laughs> right. Uh, let's see if we can find some more. <laughs> hey, shiny pebbles, here I come. I am the finding frog. <laughs> now... Don't go away, Pebbles. I'll be back soon. Hey, Fimbo. Oh, what? Why don't I go this way and you go that way? Oh, right. I'll go that way and you go this way. Right. Right. Got it? Uh, no. Oh, come on, then. Hello. Oh, shiny. Thimble, something strange, eh? Oh, hello, Roly. I've been collecting pebbles, but one's gone missing. Um, you count them for me. Oh, delighted. I like a bit of counting. Now, let me see. One, two. Two pebbles. I thought so, but I'm sure there were three pebbles there before. 
There were really. Ooh. Well, well, well. Three shiny pebbles sitting in a row. Three shiny pebbles sitting in a row. But if one shiny pebble should mysteriously go, there'll be two, two shiny pebbles, pebbles sitting, sitting in, in a, a row. row. Something very strange is happening to my pebbles, Roly. Yes, indeed, Fimble. It's a mystery. A mystery? Oh, what happens if another one goes? Well, you could watch over your pebbles just to make sure. Oh, you mean just stay here and watch them? Mm. I could tell you a story while you're watching. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> Righto. Back in a roly bow. <laughs> Books over here, books over there, books, books everywhere. When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo. Boo! Oh, wonderful things, giants and kings, and maybe a fimble or two. Oh, now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Now, here's a story about someone else who likes collecting small, round things. Oh, good. Are you sitting comfortably? Then I'll begin. This story is called Nuts, Nuts, Nuts. Hmm. Small squirrel loved nuts. Small squirrel loved eating nuts. One day, Granny Gray gave all the little squirrels a basket and sent them out to collect nuts. Small's brothers and sisters found lots. So did Small, but he ate all of his. Hmm, in the winter there are no nuts on the trees, said Granny Gray. You must save nuts so you'll have plenty to eat. I can't help it, Granny. I like eating nuts, said Small. But Small loved his Granny, so next day when she asked him to fill a basket of nuts for her, he said, Yes, Granny, of course I will. Small went out and ate lots of nuts, but he did fill a basket for Granny too. Next morning, Granny asked for another basket of nuts. Small said, Yes, Granny, and filled another basket. Every day, Small filled up a basket for Granny. He filled up his tummy with lots of nuts as well. One day, it was very cold, and as Small was picking the last nut off the tree, it started to snow. Oh dear, said Small. It's winter already. What am I going to do? Granny Gray gave him a hug and showed him all the nuts in her store cupboard. Look at all those, said Small. I'd never be able to save that many. But these are yours, Small, said Granny Gray. Yours and mine. You worked hard for me picking those nuts. I've been putting them away for you. Now we'll both have plenty to eat in the winter. I'm very proud of you. Small was very proud of himself. He was good at saving nuts. But he was even better at eating them. Small Squirrel kept all his nuts, didn't he? But I'm losing my pebbles, not keeping them. Hmm. It really is a mystery, isn't it? Roly, shall I hide somewhere and see what happens to my pebbles? Oh, what a good idea, Fimbo. Oh, but don't forget to keep very quiet. I'll just tiptoe away very quietly too. Good luck, Fimbo. Bye, Roly. Bye. Now, where shall I hide? Um, Mm -hmm. Now, Roly said to be quiet and still and to watch what happens to the pebbles. Mm -hmm. Hey! Hello, Fimbo! Cool. I couldn't find any more shiny pebbles. Uh, uh, oh. oh, what are you doing down there? Oh, shush, Rocket, I'm hiding! Hunt the Fimble! Hey! Tippity-toppity! Can 
Can I join in? I'm not playing Hunt the Fimble. One of my pebbles has gone, and I don't want another one to go. Oh, so you're keeping watch to make sure another one doesn't go. That's right. Cool! How exciting! <laughs> Can I help you? I am the watching frog, I am. <laughs> All right, but you have to stay very quiet and still. Oh. All right, quiet and still, still and quiet, quiet and oh, shh, still. I think someone's coming. Remember, quiet and still. Oh, quiet and still and a tickly wickly woo. <laughs> tickle, <a> tickly wickly woo. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see. Oh, 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 what's happening to my pebbles? Oh, oh, oh it's all right, Fimbo. It's oh. all right. There's still one left. One left. One left. But there were two pebbles before. Oh no! That means another one of my shiny pebbles has gone. Two shiny pebbles sitting in a row. Two shiny pebbles sitting in a row. But if one shiny Ooh. pebble should mysteriously go, they'll be... One shiny pebble sitting in a row. Look, Pom, look! I found another shiny pebble! Huh. Oh, can I feed the cow this time, please, Pom? Meh. <laughs> oh, there you are. Meh, 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 meh. <laughs> are you still hungry? No. <laughs> Do you want some more? No, no. Oh, all right then. Let's go and get another one. Huh. Meh, 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 meh. Oh, I wish I knew what was happening to my pebbles. Come on, let's hide again. Oh, well, only if you don't tickle me this time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pom, Flory, oh. guess what? Oh, what's that? Yuck, Fimba. There we are, little cub. <laughs> oh. One shiny pebble sitting in a row. One shiny pebble sitting in a row But if one shiny pebble should mysteriously go There'll be... No shiny pebbles sitting in a row <laughs> <laughs> So, now we know what's been happening to your pebbles, Fimbo Oh, were they your pebbles, Fimbo? Yes, I was collecting them, but now I've got none left Oh, <laughs> no, no <laughs> oh, the cow has eaten my three shiny pebbles. How am I going to get them back? Oh, what a charming little money box you've got there, Pom. Oh, it's a cow, Bessie. Oh, that's right. So it is. It's a cow money box. You can save your pennies inside that. Hello, money box. Now, here's another money box. <laughs> it's making a noise. Yes, it sounds as though there's some pennies in there. But the pennies won't come out. They're stuck inside, like my pebbles. Hmm. Oh, oh, look! There's a hole in the money box. Oh, oh, oh yes. Now, where are those pennies? Oh, there, there they are! are. Pennies! <laughs> yes, and now she's going to put them back into her money box all over again. open our money box so Fimbo can have his pebbles back. <laughs> of course you can, Flurry Chuck. Just turn the cow upside down and have a look underneath. Oh. Ah. Um. oh God, let's have a look then. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's open. <laughs> now you can have your shiny pebbles back. Uh, one, <laughs> two, three, three shiny pebbles! <laughs>
Three shiny pebbles sitting in a row. Three shiny pebbles sitting in a row. But if one shiny pebble should mysteriously go, there'll be two shiny pebbles sitting in a row. Two shiny pebbles sitting in a row. Two shiny pebbles sitting in a row. But if one shiny pebble should mysteriously go, there'll be one shiny pebble sitting in a row. One shiny pebble sitting in a row. One shiny pebble sitting in a row. But if one shiny pebble should mysteriously go, there'll be. No shiny pebbles are sitting in a row. Hello to you. How do you do? Today. Let's go and find Uncle Rolly. Ready? Then off we go! <laughs> oh, hello there. And how are you today? I'm just getting tea ready. <laughs> oh, was that you, Hugo? <laughs> no, it was me go! It was you go! Me go! Hugo! Oh, dear. You you go and me go are a bit grumpy at the moment. Hello, Uncle Rolly. Oh, hello there, little Bo. I was just telling our friends that you go and me go are being a bit grumpy today. Oh, where are they? Why don't you go and see if you can find them? All right. See you in the Rolly Mo. <laughs> oh dear. I hope she can cheer them up. <laughs> You go, me go. You go, me go. We go, and me go. Hmm. I'm off. Me too. <laughs> you too. Hold on, a roly mo. <laughs> oh, it's you, little bow. Yes. Come and sit with me. All right. But I'm not sitting next to him. And I'm not sitting next to him. That's all right. You can sit on either side of me. <laughs> now, tell me what's wrong. He started it. No, he started it. Started what? He was snootling in his sleep. You were snootling first. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, hold on. So you didn't sleep very well last night? No. Is there anything else? Yes. Mika wouldn't play hide and peep properly. One, two, three, 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 ten, coming already or not? Found you! No. First you didn't sleep very well, and then you didn't play very well. Hmm. Let's see what we can do. Ah! Tea's nearly ready. <laughs> How's it going, little Bo? Fine, Uncle Rolly. <laughs> oh, uh, how about a story? Uh, that might cheer you up. Yes, please, Uncle Rolly. Story time with Rolly Mo. Our, Our favourite, favourite time, time of day. day. I'll be back in a Rolly Mo. <laughs> <laughs> When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo. Boo, wonderful things, and giants and kings, and maybe a thimble or two. Now what have we here? 
inside a book Who knows what you might see A story or rhyme Just take the time To read along with me Hmm, books over here, books over there Find me a book with a story to share A cheering up story, if you please Ah, thank you. Now then, are you all sitting comfortably? Yes. Yes. Good. Then I'll begin. It was Ben and Charlie's birthday, and Grandad had sent them a big knobbly parcel all the way from Australia. Good day, boys, said the card. I expect you'll be needing these soon. What could it be? said Ben. Well, open it up and see, said Mum. Inside the parcel were two pairs of shiny Wellington boots and two beautiful umbrellas to match. Fantastic, said Charlie. Let's go and find some puddles to splash in, said Ben. But when they got outside, the sun was shining brightly and they couldn't find any puddles in the garden. And there wasn't a cloud in the sky, so there wasn't any rain either. Never mind, said Mum. Perhaps it will rain tomorrow. But it didn't rain the next day either. Or the next day. Or the day after that. It's not fair, said Ben. We're never going to find a puddle, said Charlie. Hmm, we'll see about that, said Mum. Next day was Saturday, and when Ben and Charlie looked out of the window, the sun was shining in the sky again. Ben and Charlie were having their breakfast when Mum put a picnic basket on the table. Hurry up, boys, she said. We're going on an adventure, and you'd better bring your boots and umbrellas. When Dad stopped the car, the boys couldn't believe their eyes. They were at the beach. Look! said Mum. That's the biggest puddle ever. So Ben and Charlie spent all morning jumping over waves and paddling in rock pools in their new wellies. And they ate their sandwiches under the shade of their new umbrellas. And when they got home, they sent Grandad a postcard to tell him all about it. There we go. Did that do the trick? Oh, yes. I love the rain. I don't. Rain is yuckety. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Isn't? Is. Um, I think I'd better just go and see how the tea is getting on. Is. Oh. Isn't. Is. Isn't. Is. Isn't. Is. Isn't. I wonder if there's anything in my busy book that might help. Oh, yes. Busy book. Busy book. Let's take a look. Someone is hiding. Who can it be? Is it a thimble? Who can you see? It's Baby Pom. What are we going to do today, Baby Pom? That looks like a flower. Look, there's something hiding behind that petal. It's a blue car. A red spade. A green hat. <laughs> and there's a yellow banana. It's a remembering game. Let's find the yellow banana. Which petal is it behind? Is it behind this petal? Oh, look, there's the green hat. So where is the yellow banana? Is it behind this petal? There's the red spade. So where is the yummy yellow banana? Is it behind this petal? Or is it behind that petal? Hooray! There it is! We did it! We found the yellow banana! But what's under this petal? Is it something blue? Yes! It's the blue car! Hooray! Thank you, Baby Pom. See you again soon. Wasn't that fun? It's all your fault. You were snootling first. Wasn't. Was. Wasn't. Shall we sing a song together? <gasps> yes! Think of things that make you happy. Make a list of the things you love. Don't be a grump or make a fuss. Or 
All you have to do is sing with us. If you really want to sing, if you really want to smile, then just think of all these happy things. Being happy is our style. <laughs> Sunny days and pretty flowers, the colour pink and rhymes are fun. Rolly stories, little floppy, and great big kisses from my mum. <laughs> Rainy days and the colour orange Taking naps I so enjoy I even love my brother Migo And little Snudge is my favourite toy <laughs> Sunshine and molly munchies I love to eat and snootle around <laughs> Baby, oh and Hugo are my bestest Time for tea, it's my favourite style if you really want to see, if you really want to smile, then just think of all these happy things. Being happy is our style. Was, wasn't, was, was, here we was, go was, again. Was, was, does, Ooh. does, could, couldn't, could. How's it going? Was, was, Is tea nearly ready? Oh, yes. It, right after it, Hugo and Migo have had it, their nap. It, it, oh, it, oh, their nap. Why, that's it. That's what, Uncle Rolly? That's the problem. Hugo and Nigo haven't had their nap yet. That's why they're so grumpy. Oh, you're right. Sometimes when you're sleepy, it can make you really grumpy. How about another story? <gasps> yes, please. Was, wasn't, is, isn't. <sighs> oh, it looks like you're sleepy too, little Bo. Maybe you'd like to have a nap too. Oh. No, Uncle Rolly. I'm too old to have a nap in the daytime. <laughs> All right. But would you like to listen to the story anyway? Yes, please, Uncle Rolly. Good. Then I'll begin. Molly was going to bed. First, she kissed her dad. Night-night, Molly. Sleep tight, said Dad. Then she kissed her gran. Up the wooden hill to Bedfordshire, said Gran. Molly snuggled down in bed and wondered what the wooden hill to Bedfordshire was. And how do you sleep tight? Mum came in to tuck her up. Mum, what's a wooden hill to Bedfordshire? said Molly. Mum laughed. It's only a little joke Gran likes, she said. It just means going up the stairs to bed. But we haven't got any stairs, said Molly. We live in a flat. That's right, said Mum. But I had to go upstairs to bed when I was a little girl. Sweet dreams. Molly shut her eyes. I can't see any sweet dreams, Mum, she said. No, you have to be asleep first, said Mum. Try counting sheep. That's what people sometimes do when they want to get to sleep. Night, Molly. So Molly thought about sheep. She thought of a picture of a soft, fat, fluffy sheep trying to walk up some wooden stairs and getting stuck. <laughs> it made her giggle, so she thought of another one. This was a small black sheep in a sweet shop eating some chocolate buttons. <laughs> that made her giggle too. That's two sheep, said Molly to herself. Number three was a smart, woolly sheep jumping over a gate. <laughs> it looked funny because it had glasses on just like Gran's. Then there was sheep number four. And then sheep number five, which seemed to get smaller and smaller and smaller. Until Molly didn't have to count any more because she was fast asleep. Lovely. <laughs> Ooh. Looks like it's a sleepy day today. <laughs> yes, it's been a roly moly day. <laughs> you will come and join us next time in Fimble Valley, won't you? <laughs> now it's time for us all to go. Cheerio! Oh, what's 
this is for Nick Nick. <laughs> what? Nick Nick. Nick Nick. Um, num, 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 num. Oh, a picnic. <laughs> you want to have a picnic, Pom? Yes, Nick Nick. Okay. Well, let's count how many of us there are. Um, you, me, and a little one. Mm, that's three. Can you get the cups, Pom? Yes, <laughs> Pom got cups. Oh, look at this flower, Pom. Flower? Oh, it's all floppy. Ah, poor flower. Do you think the flower needs something? Yes. Um, oh. Oh, a flower nick-nick. I've got a stick, a sticky old stick. It goes swish if you swish it quick. I've got a stick, a sticky old stick. It goes it. Oh! Oh! I'm getting the thimbling feeling! Yay! I can feel a twinkling. I can hear a sound. It's telling me there's something waiting to be found. Where is it? Where is it? What could it be? I think it might be over there. Let's go and see. There is something to be found. Is it here? No. Is it there? No. Or oh, can you see it anywhere? Uh, oh, look at that! A cloud! <laughs> oh, I can't quite reach it. Oh, it's raining! It's a rain cloud! <laughs> oh, it stopped raining now. I'm going to tell the others what I've found. Stay there, little rain cloud. Eat it up, flower. <laughs> oh, Pom. It looks like it's thirsty. I think it needs a drink of water. Hey, everyone, guess what I found? Oh, tell us, Fimbo. A cloud. A cloud? Oh, yes, and it nearly rained on me. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a Fimbo. A nick -nick. We're having a picnic, Fimbo. Oh, thank you, Pom. Um, would you like to come and see my rain cloud? It's over there. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, do you want to come, Pom? Oh, Nick Nick. Oh, it's picnic, Pom. Oh. There. Hello again, little rain cloud. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's your rain cloud gone, Fimbo? Oh, uh, there it is. Follow me. <laughs> <gasps> It looks like a, a, a big pillow in the sky. That's it. That's my rain cloud. The one that nearly rained on me. <laughs> <laughs> the cloud up in the sky, it's sailing slowly by. But if it's all the same, we'd rather have some rain. Oh, yeah. Sing it once again. Let it rain, let it rain, let it rain. <laughs> oh, I wish it would rain on me. <laughs> you funny thimbles. Do you really want to be rained on? Oh, yes, I love it. Come on, little cloud, make some more rain. Well, then, here's some rain for you. Wow. Oh, it's raining very hard. Listen to the sound it's making. Yes, rain makes all kinds of different sounds. <laughs> it makes a funny sound on the car. The rain makes a different sound on the leaves, doesn't it? And a different sound on the roof. Did 
Do you think our rain cloud will rain again, Bessie? It might do. Or it might just drift along being a cloud. Hmm. Maybe we could make it rain on the purple meadow. Oh, oh, you want it to rain on the purple meadow, do you, Florrie? Oh, yes, Bessie, because we found a thirsty flower. Come on, Fimbo, I'll show you. Oh, yes. Thirsty flowers do love a drop of rain. <laughs> cool. Ah, that's a rocket. Oh, thanks, Bob. Ooh, and what's this for then? A nick-nick. Oh, goody, goody, a picnic. It's scrummy, yummy, tummy time. Cool. I hope we're having crumble crackers. <laughs> <laughs> Bob nick-nick. Oh, now, where's the thirsty flower, Flurry? Oh, here it is. Look, it's all floppy and thirsty. How do you know? Um, does it talk? <laughs> mm. No, Rocket. But flowers need water. They get floppy when they're thirsty. Oh, so it needs a drink. Yes. That's why I wanted the cloud to rain over here. Oh, a cloud, a cloud. Mm. Uh, what cloud? Thimbo's found a rain cloud. It nearly rained on me. <laughs> uh, that's a fiori, Nick Nick. Oh, yes, Pom. We will have the picnic soon. But now we're trying to help the flower. Oh, nick, nick, now. Oh. Pom, get more nick, nick, a flower. So, how can we get the cloud to come over here? Oh, I know. It's easy peasy, bright and breezy. We'll have to catch it. Catch it? Oh, yes. Just show me the cloud. I bet I can jump up and catch it. Now, where is it? Hmm. Look, here it comes. Ooh, I'm sure I can reach it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Rocket, it's very high up. Oh, cool, you're right. <laughs> what we need is a cloud catcher. What's a cloud catcher? It's for catching clouds, of course. Oh, have we got a cloud catcher? No, but we could make one. We could use this stick and, uh, I know what else we need back in the roly mo. I'm sure I can jump a bit higher. No, no. Phew, it's no good, Flurry. Look, everyone, I've made a cloud catcher. Oh, it's very good, Fimbo. <laughs> I put this paper bag on my stick and there you are, one cloud catcher. You see, the cloud goes in here. Hmm, I wonder if it'll work. Well, let's try. Oh, 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 there it is, over there. Shh. Quiet. Nearly. If I can just... Now, Thimbo! Hey! Oh! Co, you missed it. It moved. Oh, 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 can I have a go, please, Thimbo? All right. Ooh, it's up here again now. <laughs> I'll catch it this time. Go on, Flory. Here it comes. Oh, where's Rocket? Oh, I'm under here. Oh, <laughs> oh sorry, Rocket. <laughs> I thought I'd got the cloud. <laughs> oh, look, it's moving closer to the flower. Oh, oh, oh let's see. Flower one to apple. Oh, look. Hello, cloud. Oh, yes, I know, Pom. We're trying to catch it. We want it to rain. Oh, come on, Cloud, please. I know. We could do a rockety rain dance. That should make it rain. <laughs> the, the sun, sun is, is warm and bright. The wind is cool and light. But if it's all the same, we'd rather have some rain. Oh, yeah. Yes, sing it once again. Let it rain, let it rain, let it rain. Look, it's raining! Hey! Hey! I told you our rain dance would work. Oh, yes, but it's still not raining over the flower. Oh, and now it's stopped raining. Oh, the poor little flower still didn't get a drink of water. 
What are we going to do? Ooh, what are you going to do about what? Oh, Rolly. Oh, Rolly, look at this flower. It needs a drink of water. Mm, yes, I think you're right there, Flory. It does look a bit floppy. And I found a rain cloud, but we can't get it to rain over the flower. Ah, I see. Well, it's difficult to make a cloud rain if it doesn't want to. Do you think it would like a story? Will it help? Well, it might. You never know with stories. <laughs> Stay there. I'll be back in a roly mo. <laughs> when you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo. Oh, wonderful things, giants and kings, and maybe a fimble or two. Oh, now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Everybody, story time! Yay! It's the story time of day. Time to take a break from play. You settle in your special chair. We'll sit here. And you sit there. <laughs> Dory, Dory! <laughs> here we are. Yay! Now, are you sitting comfortably? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Good. Then I'll begin. This story is called The Lonely Rain Cloud. One morning, a little rain cloud woke up and found she was all alone. Will you play with me? She asked the blue sky. I'm the blue sky. You're just a little rain cloud. Go and ask the sun, said the blue sky. But the rain cloud couldn't see the sun. Ooh, she said. Have you... Oh, don't bother me now, huffed the sun. But have you seen any rain clouds? Asked the little rain cloud. Oh, it's too hot for rain clouds today. Will you play with me then? Oh, I can't play with you. I'm far too hot, 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 hot. The sun got hotter and the sky got bluer and the little rain cloud looked down at the big wide sea. A wave rose up to say hello. Will you play with me? Said the little rain cloud. I haven't got time to play said the wave. I have to go up and down, up and down all day long. Watch out! Here comes the wind! The jolly wind arrived. Oh, <laughs> you don't look very happy, he said. I'm all on my own and I haven't got anyone to play with. Oh, <laughs> we'll soon fix that, said the wind. And he blew a great big rain cloud in from the sea. Hello, said the little rain cloud. But the big rain cloud didn't look very happy. I'm a lonely rain cloud and I haven't got anyone to play with. No, I'm a lonely rain cloud and I haven't got anyone to play with. Hooray, they both said. And the two rain clouds danced around happily and showered everyone with cool, sparkling rain. <laughs> Oh, look, I'm a cloud. I'm a little rain cloud in the sky. I am sailing slowly by. Nick, <laughs> Nick. <laughs> oh, thank you, Palm. A cup. Hey, are we going to have a picnic now? Not yet, Rocket. I've just had an idea. We could use this cup to catch the rain. How will that help? Well, we can fill the cup with rainwater and then we can water the little flower. Good idea, Flory. Come on, let's sing the song again. Oh, we could do a drippy, droppy, plippy, ploppy, rockety rain dance. The clouds up in the sky, it's sailing slowly by. But if it's all the same, we'd rather have some rain. Oh, yeah. Yes, sing it once again. Let it rain, let it rain, let it rain. <laughs> yeah, it's raining! Quick, quick, catch the rain! Oh, 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 here you go, rain clouds! Rain in here! Oh, 
Raining! <laughs> Rockety rain! It stopped. Oh, thank you, Cloud. Now let's water the flower. Uh, here we are, little flower. Have a drink. Yippity dippity, it works! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> there, the flower's not thirsty anymore. Oh, nick nick, nick nick! <laughs> yes, Palm, we can have the picnic! Hey, <laughs> soopity doopity, oh, I'm hungry after all that cloud chasing. I'll be having a crumble cracker. <laughs> hey, I'm thirsty too! Oh, Fimba Dink! Oh, thank you, Palm! <laughs> and thank you, Rain Cloud! <laughs> Now we can have our nick-nick, Bob. Sorry. <laughs> Pick-nick. Pick-nick. <laughs> oh, that's right, Bob. Picnic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello there. And how are you today? I'm just off to read the Fimbles' a story. <laughs> Oh, there's Rocket. <laughs> He's going to look after everything while I'm gone. I'm sure everything will be fine. Hippity hoppity hoo! How'd ya diddly do? Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, you're just in time. <laughs> now, there are three things you've got to do today, Rocket. Yes, and yes, three things. Number one, please can you lay the table for tea? Oh, tippity toppity tea! Number two, make sure you wake Hugo and Migo up in time for tea. <coughs> and number three, put the scones in the oven and the ice cream in the fridge. Number three, scones for tea. So the ice cream goes in the oven and the scones go in the fridge. Uh, no, Rocket, it's the other way round. The scones go in the oven, which is hot. Ooh, hot. So be careful. And the ice cream goes in the fridge. The which is cold. Brrrr. Right, got it. Now, are you sure you can remember all that rocket? Well, I am the remembering frog. <laughs> Good. Then I'll be back in time for tea. Ooh, how exciting. I am the babysitting frog. <laughs> Hello, Rocket. Hello. And hello to you, too. How do you do? <laughs> Rocket, did Uncle Rolly tell you what we've got to do? Uh, yes, yes, a uh, yes and yes. So, what have we got to do? Well, um, we've got to do this, and we've got to do that, and then, uh... Then what? Then we've got to do something else. There, I am the remembering frog. <laughs> <laughs> you can't remember, can you, Rocket? Uh, no. Righty ho. Let's see. What can we do? Um, I know. Let's see if a story can help us remember. Story time with Little Bo. My favourite time of day. Come on, Rocket. Let's slide. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Off we go! Whee! <laughs> Whee! When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. A monkey who says boo. Boo! Wonderful things! Giants and kings! And maybe a thimble or two. Now what have we here? Oh, when you take a look inside a book. Who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme. Just take the time to read along with me. Books over here, books over there. Find me a book with a story to share. Ha! Could we have a story to help us remember, please? Oh, thank you. Now then, are you sitting comfortably? Yes. Good. Then I'll begin. 
Josh was building a house for his teddy. Lunchtime, called his mum. Wash your hands. Do I have to, Mum? said Josh. Yes, wash your hands, please, she said. You know you need to. Josh sighed. He was tired of always having to wash his hands. Later, after his afternoon nap, Josh decided to have a tea party with Teddy in the front room. Josh didn't see his Auntie Lou, who was fast asleep in the big armchair. Now, Teddy, said Josh, we're going to have a lovely tea party. Here are the cups and the saucers and the plates. And some lovely shiny teaspoons. Those teaspoons aren't shiny, said a voice. Josh was startled. Who was talking to him? Could it be Teddy? They're not shiny at all. They're really dirty, the voice continued. Josh picked up the teaspoons. It was true. They were rather grubby. I'll go and wash them, he said. Thank you, said the voice. And do you think you could wash the cups and the saucers and the plates as well? They're all very dirty. Oh, said the surprised Josh. All right. So he washed the tea set till everything was clean and shiny. Josh set out the tea things again. Well done! Now we can have our tea party. It's tea time, called Josh's mum. Coming, called back Josh. Come on, Teddy. Come and have some real tea. Are you coming too, Auntie Lou? Auntie Lou peeped round her chair. She winked at Josh. Oh, yes, but I think I'd better wash my hands first. Me too, said Josh, laughing. Do you remember now, Rocket? Uh, remember what? <sighs> what we've got to do. Um, let me think. Was it something to do with Hugo and me go? Quiet, they're sleeping. Oh. Then was it something to do with tea? Um, I think... I think it was something... Yes, yes? ...to do with... Yes, yes, go on, Rocket. You can do it. Tea! <gasps> I thought it might have something to do with tea. Yes. But what? Oh, come on, Rocket. Think. Uncle Rolly will be back soon. Uh, all right, all right, I am the thinking frog. <laughs> Was that your tummy rumbling, Rocket? Oh, I'm getting hungry. Um. Oh, oh, I oh, know. We've got to lay the table. Lay the table? Why didn't you say so? Yum, yum, yum. Yum, tea, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Nuts and peas, bananas and cheese. You can choose whatever you please. Mm. Parsnips, pumpkin jam, a wibbly wobbly flan, jelly beans, all kinds of greens, a great big tasty yam, cherry melon stew, nuts and lemons too. There's, There's nothing, nothing like food to get you in a really, really good mood. and peas, bananas and cheese. You can choose whatever you please. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Yum, a tea, yum. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> In my tum. Grapes and broccoli. Ooh, something chocolatey. There's nothing like food to get you in a really good mood. <laughs> Let's 
Mr. Coco. Hugo, Migo, you've woken up. Yes, you're singing woke us up. But that's tippity toppity. Is it? Yes, because that was the second thing we were supposed to do. We were supposed to wake you up. Is it time for tea? It will be when Uncle Roly gets back. Mm. Oh, hello there. It's Uncle Roly. He's back. <laughs> it's quite cold out there. Cold? Hot? <clears throat> I know what I've got to do. Back in a hippity hop. <laughs> Um, uh, hot, cold, hot, ouch, cold. Ooh, uh, now, what was it I had to put in the oven? Uh, ah, there's the ice cream. I'll just put that in the oven. <laughs> and... Uh, ah, the scones must go in the fridge. <laughs> Voila! Ha ha! Ah, here you all are. Everything all right? Mm. Oh, yes, Uncle Rolly. We've laid the table. And they've woken us up. And tea's nearly ready! Oh, yes, it is. I've put the ice cream in the oven and the scones in the fridge. Ah. Well, uh, well done for remembering. Uh, I think I'll just go and check on them. <laughs> what? You are funny, Rocket. You're supposed to put the scones in the oven and the ice cream in the fridge. <laughs> um, smelly jelly. Smelly jelly! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Rowley. I got it all wrong, didn't I? Uh, don't worry, Rocket. There's no harm done. I've put them in the right place. <laughs> Phew! Thank you, Rowley. Now, the scones will take a little while to cook. I know. We can look at my busy book while we're waiting. Busy book, busy book, let's take a look! Someone is hiding. Who can it be? Is it a thimble? Who can you see? It's Flory! <laughs> what are we going to do today, Flory? Look! A wibbly-wobbly jelly! And a crumble crackers. A pair of wellies. Which one is the odd one out? Is it the jelly? Yum, yum, jelly! Or the crumble crackers? Yum, yum, crumble crackers. Or the wellies? Yeah. You can't eat wellies. <laughs> These are the odd ones out. Look, it's snowing. And the snow has made a snowman. And there's the sun. Oh, ice cream. Yum, yum. This is an odd one out game. Which one is the odd one out? The snowman is cold. The sun is hot. Ice cream is cold. The sun is the odd one out. The snowman and ice cream are cold. Coo! The sun is hot. Thank you, Flory. See you again soon. Oh, now I've got it. Ice cream cold, scones Hot. Mm, ice cream, yummy Scones! <laughs> yummy, 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 yum! Mmm, it smells like the scones are ready. The Lesser Go Go! <laughs> oh, haven't we had fun today? <laughs> yes, it's been a roly moly day! <laughs> oh, you will come and join us next time in Fimble Valley, won't you? Now it's time for us all to go. Cheerio! Cheerio! Cheerio!